Hello viewers, I am finally back. So I've been busy with fitting out of my new apartment in which I plan to move in in maybe one month or two. So after I move in, I promise I will make at least on a weekly basis new video. So what I find and prepare for you because this is a lasting job. But for this opportunity, you can see an image on my right side, I prepared for you the Scott Wattenberger so gravitational magnetic energy converter. Yeah? So this is the, some kind of magnetic motor which works uh, on the basis of gravitational force and magnetic force to create electrical energy. So as you know, so gravitation, um, gravitational acceleration caused by Earth gravitation force it's 9.8 meters per square seconds. Yeah? So this is the acceleration. And the traction force between two magnets is, the, uh, is equal to, magnet, uh, let's say, attraction force of the first magnet multiplied by attraction force of the second magnet uh, divided by the square distance between them. Yeah? So this is the two elements which he used uh, how to <coughs> create continuous rotation let's say of the rotor with the permanent magnets. So let's get, not to waste any time here, let's get to the drawings and see how this beautiful machinery is supposed to work. All right, you are, so this is the model. So let's be quick, time is money, as we all know. Okay, so this is the 3D model. So I'll try to explain in very quick way how this is supposed to work. Of course, like in any other, uh, let's say, generator, we should have stator and we should have rotor. So if I select so this with combination this and this set, so this will be our stator. You know? So this will hold some uh, some magnets and which magnets? So here I will select now these are the magnets which will be on the stator. So stator magnets are positioned on this let's say one quarter of this circle and and you will see uh, uh, later in which way. So actually they will repel with magnets from the rotor. So this is the complete stator. So, so this is the stator, actually really simple, if you, if you see this way, really simple generator. So let's continue now. So this is the stator. The second thing is of course rotor. Yeah? So rotor, yeah, it's the unusual way. It looks like a hammer. Yeah? And you can see it will spin definitely in, in circle. Yeah? And this will be connected to our let's say uh, alternator yeah, which will produce and give us output electricity yeah, so that's it and of course this is mounted on these two bearings uh, which i did not select yeah. uh, so this, this is on these two bearings uh, are in the stator so that this hammer can freely rotate and how and now it's logical so of course i mentioned the gra gravitational force and the magnetic force. These two forces will in combination give enough power or enough uh, torque that this can uh, spin, let's say, indefinitely. And how this would spin? This is now very uh, unusual setup. So I will try to select now the rotor and try to rotate it. Yeah? So rotate, rotate. If I select on this shaft over here, so you see. Okay, so uh, what is the in question is how this will start. I suppose we will need some kick, maybe from this position some kick, and it will it will go in counterclockwise direction. So this is how I spin right now. Yeah? So this will spin in this way. Yeah? And what and and what will happen? So in this area over here, from this point, uh, of course, you can see it will be gravitational force. So, uh, the force of gravitation will help us to gain speed and momentum. Yeah? And uh, when this speed is reached, of course, this magnet will pass this region. And from this point over here, now it's already, uh, so the magnets are positioned in to be in repelling state. So already from here, we will repel these two magnets, so stator and rotor magnets. And this should accelerate further here, yeah. So further acceleration, and after this point, yeah, of course, gravitational force will help us even more, yeah. So we will continue this rotation until this point, where again repelling force of the permanent magnets would additionally accelerate this, and this should spin, let's say, indefinitely in such a way. 
Of course, in such a system we have the friction and maybe the opposite opposing magnetic field from the different pole of the magnets but because of that i think this green uh, green state or housing of the let's say magnets on the rotor should be on uh, i don't know from is it uh, it should be not from steel but generally it should be from plastic because it would attract to the <laughs> stator magnets but basically this, this is it this is you should read uh, in description is the link of the full uh, patent application so you should read it in, in, in detail to understand it further but this is the basic uh, principle how this is supposed to work yeah? uh, so magnetic force in combination so repelling force of the magnets in combination with the gravitational force in this let's say in these uh, three quadrants of the circle and this one quadrant where is the permanent magnets this all connected to the alternator and then give us output energy indefinitely yeah, so that's the basically uh, idea of the whole uh, generator very simple but yet who knows maybe can work i would doubt that if i see this in person i would believe it for sure so this is it dear viewers thank you for watching until next video which will come i promise very soon stay tuned on my channel bye bye